Hey everyone, it's uh, Ben at Fright Rags, and I just uh, I grabbed my iPad to take a quick video of the Tarman mask for you, just to show you a little bit more of an up close view of what it looks like and uh, compare it to a couple of actual Ben Cooper masks um, that I had lying around. Uh, just to show you again what this is made of, what it looks like in, in real life, and, uh, and, and how this is different than these other ones. So, I had actually uh, bought these off eBay um, just to kind of have around collect them and get some uh, just a little market research. Actually I had this Hulk as a kid um, when I was like three or four or something like that. Um, I was able to get this one off eBay. Ooh, looks like there's some snot in there. Yummy. Anyway, um, as you can see, and, and if you remember as a kid, these things were, were pretty thin. Um, they were made of this real thin plastic material and they had this staple with the rubber band of course. They never lasted very long, and I remember these these uh, eyes always cracking and cutting me, and I'm surprised there weren't more injuries with these things. Anyway, uh, but if you remember, these things were you know they were they were made cheaply and uh, they did the job, but they weren't certainly made for for collectors' items except for us you know being nostalgia freaks. This one doesn't even look like it's been worn because the the rubber band's still pretty good on it. Um, so this is what they were like, and this is from the late 70s. As you can see, you can kind of bend it quite a bit. With the Tarman mask, what we wanted to do was just pay an homage to those uh, Ben Cooper masks. And, but we didn't want it to be so cheap, so what we did is we took a high-density plastic, uh, a lot like the same ones you'd find um, if you collect Jason masks from Friday the 13th. A lot of those were made of this high-density plastic. I think this is a little bit thinner. Uh, but the same quality stuff, and as you can see, when I grab this, it flexes, of course, it's plastic, but it doesn't, it's not like it's paper. Um, and with the elastic, what we did is we, we chose to use a cloth band elastic and tied it on the inside, uh, so that'll hold up. So this is something you can certainly wear if you want. You can run around, scare people, and <laughs> run around Halloween if you want to, or it's, it's great as a collector's piece just to put on the wall. I have the prototype version of this at home on my wall, and it looks great next to everything else. With the colors, it's great. Monty, what he did was he he lays down the uh, the first coat on this black plastic. It's this color here uh, by hand. Well, everything's done by hand, but the first coat is is done freehand. And he's got these uh, really cool templates that he kind of uses to get the same effect, and he builds up the layers on top of one another to get that, that painterly effect that William Stout got in our original uh, design that had this, this image on it. And the result is really cool. I mean, hopefully you can tell by this video, but just looking at it, it's, it's odd because if you're familiar with the original image, it's, it's like looking at a, a picture, but it's, it's a real thing. So it's, it's just so cool. I'm so happy with the way this came out. It looks really nice on the wall. You can wear it. It's going to hold up, um, and these are individually made by one person. He's, he's, he sculpted this based on Stout's original design. He is pressing each one of them. He's hand painting them, and it's a real collector's item, and we're only doing 500 of them. So uh, I hope this helps at least show you what this thing is like in, in real life. And believe me, I can't wait till you see it in person, and uh, I hope you dig it, and I'll see you on Thursday for the release. Thanks, everyone.